Hello everyone, today we're going to be discussing the differences between obstructive sleep apnea and central sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea is when you have a blockage in the airway. This blockage in the airway is caused when the muscles in your body relax and your upper airway collapses, thus not letting air go through because the airway closed. This obstruction physically blocks the airway. So there's actually something physically blocking the airway that will not let the air pass through. And that's very important to note in this part of obstructive sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea can be caused by a multitude of things like your weight, narrowing of the airway, or any physical abnormalities. Obstructive sleep apnea is most commonly linked with obesity. So for those patients that are on the obese side, they, they're more likely to have sleep apnea. But that's not a definitive definitive cause of obstructive sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea can be because of a narrowing of an airway, and that can be any size patient. Another important thing to take note with obstructive sleep apnea is that when there's obstructive sleep apnea, there is still effort for the patient trying to breathe in the air. What do I mean by effort? That the patient's still trying to breathe in. So they're trying, they're doing the effort, the respiratory muscles are doing the effort, the diaphragm's moving down. It's just that there's a blockage, so no air is getting in. Obstructive sleep apnea is commonly treated with a, a continuous positive airway device. Obstructive sleep apnea is mainly treated with a continuous positive airway pressure device, a CPAP, commonly known in the industry. We recently did a video on CPAP. Click on the link above to see how CPAP works. Just a basic, CPAP forces air into the airway to maintain that airway open, thus unblocking the airway. Now that we have a better understanding of obstructive sleep apnea, let's dive into central sleep apnea. Even though obstructive sleep apnea and central sleep apnea cause the same effects on the body, they are completely different. Obstructive sleep apnea is gonna be something physical blocking the airway. Central sleep apnea is gonna be uh, lacking the signal, telling your respiratory muscles to breathe. In patients that have central sleep apnea, the respiratory muscles are never activated to take in a breath. So there is never any effort for the patient to take in the breath because the signal never reaches the respiratory muscles. On a regular basis, when you breathe in, your, your brain sends a signal to your respiratory muscles to either expand or contract. And that's how you breathe in and air starts flowing in and out of the body. Now, when that signal is either failed to send or failed to make it through, there's no effort because the signal never reached the respiratory muscles. So what happens? You never try to take in a breath. So remember, central sleep apnea is an absence of effort. There's no effort in the respiratory tract to take in that breath of air. Now, to give you just an example to help you understand obstructive versus uh, central sleep apnea just a little bit better, think about it when you get in your car. Your car is the air. The road is the airway. When you're driving down the road and a tree falls in the road, that's an obstruction. There's something physically blocking you from getting to the other side. As far as central sleep apnea, it's like when you're in your car, the road is free and clear, there's nothing ahead of you, but you don't press the accelerator to go forward. So the signal of pressing the accelerator to go forward is missing. Whether it be that you didn't press the accelerator or that you pressed the accelerator and the car was in park, the signal is not reaching for the car to move forward. That is an example of central sleep apnea. Causes for sleep apnea are different from the causes of obstructive sleep apnea. The causes for sleep, uh, central sleep apnea range from uh, narcotics, any medication that you might be taking, to um, neurological conditions like ALS, uh, to maybe even a brain injury. But in all the examples, the causes for, sleep ap for central sleep apnea all have to do with a neurological, not, no signal getting to the respiratory muscles. Treatment for, for central sleep apnea also works a little bit different than for obstructive sleep apnea. Because for obstructive sleep apnea, you're physically trying to remove that block. For central sleep apnea, the best uh, way to attack is actually to treat the underlying cause of the central sleep apnea. Meaning any neurological condition, any medication that you might be taking that either can be altered for another medication or you can be completely weaned off the medication. These are all ways of treating that type of sleep apnea because you're not gonna go for physically opening anything. 
you're trying to restore the signal from the brain to the, to the respiratory muscles. Another form of treating sleep, uh, central sleep apnea is also with a CPAP or a BiPAP. And sometimes with central sleep apnea, you have to get into the more advanced, like the, your, your BiPAP STs, your ASVs, and your AVAPs. But central sleep apnea always requires a little bit more of advanced treatment because you need help on inhale and exhale. If you feel that I missed something, please comment down below. And if you liked the video, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat. My name is Ozzy. I'm the respiratory therapist with sleepplay.com. And until next time.